How's it going guys? We've been given a community update today from Turn 10 Studios, the folks over at Futsa, where they talk about the current state of Futsa Horizon 5 and Futsa Motorsport updates, cars, tracks, features, and a general update on the community hubs like the Suggestions Hub and the Troubleshooting Hub. We're going to take a read through what they've got to say as it does give us some potential hints about what we can see in the future and just overall tells us what they're thinking and what to expect it's very interesting to read now really quick this is the last chance to enter a giveaway for all of these car pack codes on the screen in the comment section below comment which one you want make sure you're subscribed and tell me your gamer tag i've got all these codes to give away this is the last video giving away these codes and then that's it they're gone so let's take a look at what Forza have to say. Let's talk cars, tracks and features. Now this is their first feedback update to 2024 so far. They've been fully focused on developing new content and fixes based on reports. So they've been heavily focusing on adding the stuff and fixing the stuff that we tell them about great to see. In the previous blog post update last July, so almost a year ago now, the total amount of votes on all of the hubs totaled 240,000. Well now, it's almost double with 470,000. So it's great to see that just in general, the amount of people using these suggestion and community hubs has greatly increased, which is really important because again, this post just proves, and what we're about to see, just proves that they are focusing on adding the things that we ask for. 450,000 votes are on the Suggestions Hub and 19,000 votes are on the Troubleshooting Hub. So again, if you're not into any of them hubs and you've not been doing any voting, then I encourage you to. Now they've kind of broken down this whole blog into different sections and different topics. And the first one is obviously the most important one, car voting. It is, this, it is the most important and the most popular forum on the Suggestions until, as we can expect. There's a total of 14,800 things to vote on in the suggestions hub and over 9,000 of them are cars. So it's a huge aspect of it. And they break down a little bit here some of the most notable vehicles that they've added recently thanks to the suggestions hub. The Nissan Suru was the top voted car. The Aston Martin Valkyrie was the 16th most requested. The Gordon Murray, the Alfa Romeo, they were all highly requested cars and they've actually added them. Now there are actually, there are actually a lot more than this. Which I'm surprised they've not noted. We actually did a video last week talking about the top 20 most voted cars on the suggestions hub because it just changes so quickly over time and they add so many cars that are in that top 20 list that it just changes. So I highly recommend going to check out the video if you haven't already. Now they do reiterate something very important, which again, I'm glad that they've said, is that just because something isn't voted for highly on the suggestion tool, doesn't mean we'll ever get it because the community input, our input is just one aspect of them adding cars to the game. They've got to make sure that they've got the right licensing agreements for adding a car. They've got to make sure that they can get access to a pristine model of that car. 3D scanning is involved, modeling work is involved. There's a lot of different aspects that might just make it impossible for them to add something to the game, whether we want it or not. What they have managed to achieve though is 823 cars over 129 manufacturers. Same goes for Forza Motorsport as well. They've recently added the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, the Alfa Romeo as we said, and they've noticed that motorsport players are showing strong interest in racing spec models and they have responded to us by adding plenty of racing spec models and I'm sure that there's many more to come as well if that's what they're saying that they are focusing on. So racing spec models for Forza Motorsport and just in general highly voted cars for Forza Horizon 5 they are really trying to focus on. This just proves that. So again, let's go to that suggestion tool and get voting on those cars that we want. Track voting. This is obviously motorsport specific, so you can just skip through a minute or two if you're not into motorsport. Obviously, we have the Nürburgring. That was a top request, and they, they say they took their time to make it look great. It came out earlier than expected. And they note that Daytona was the seventh most requested car when it was released in January. And following that edition, we were very vocal about our opinions on the pit lane exit. And with how quick we were able to make that the number one topic in the environment category, what did they do? They fixed it. So that just goes to show if we really are so vocal and so keen on something being changed, they will do it. They will literally go and do it. Might take a couple of updates, but they'll do it. That's just why it's so important to go onto these pubs and make these votes known. Now they do name drop Brazil here. They say that the current top requested track is the iconic Interlagos circuit in Brazil with only 1,750 votes, which is a lot of votes. 
Now it's quite interesting that they've name dropped this track. Perhaps they are working on it. Perhaps this is a little hint. Now they do, just like the cars, remind us that, again, just community voting is just one element. You know, they've got to scan the tracks. They've got to get licensing for the tracks, believe it or not. They've got to laser scan it. They've got, you know, environment art, 3D asset creation, integrating track limits. AI driving lines. It's a nice insight to the work that goes on behind the scenes and sometimes they either can't do it or it's just taking longer than usual. Horizon features. That's what most of you are here for, I can imagine. Now they note that we all really, really wanted more garage space, more space for user-generated content like designs and tunes. Well, they remind us that they saw that this was, oh, didn't need to open that. Four of, I was just on the page. How is it 404 page not found? They note that they noticed that it was a top five request feature for um, increasing the amount of tunes and safe slots. And what did they do? They did it. Along with the garage space increase of 2,000 cars, it was just so high up on the suggestions that they did it. But it does give you a bit of an idea of the time scale of these things. Like it was a top requested feature for a long time. It takes a while for big changes to happen just like the car progression system, which we'll talk about in a minute. Like for example, this one, it's the seventh most requested feature. It's not really that high on the list, especially with only 98 votes, but it was probably quite an easy thing for them to do. So if there's anything, anything simple and easy that they see pop up on the top requested feature list, they'll consider it, which is why it's important to use the suggestions of whether you've got a big feature that you don't think many people's going to vote for, or you do think it doesn't matter. But go and go and put it on the suggestions hub anyway. They've noted that some of the top Horizon 5 most requested features are all about car customization. Now, car customization is a bit of a funny topic because a lot of people just don't think that they are adding what we really want. It's not just body kits and not just rims that we want car customization. We want game changing customization, tons of body kits, tons of body options, window stickers, that kind of stuff, kind of need for speed style. I think that's what most people mean. I don't think they've quite nailed that yet, but it's good to see that they're acknowledging that customization is such a highly requested feature. I'd say there's a pretty good chance that everything that's on the top 10, top 20 of Horizon features, they're definitely at least working on some or considering some. They're proving that. Motorsport features as well. Now they actually name drop a few features here that are quite interesting. One of the top 20 features requested that they saw at the launch was field of view positioning. They continue to see voting for seat positioning. Following the game's launch, they saw multiple topics suggesting changes to the car progression system. Now this is a big one because the car progression system was a huge feature of the game. It's such a core mechanic that they changed quite dramatically. That is big. That is great to see that they listened to us. It took a few months, but it's big. It, that just goes to show that no matter how big the change or feature that we are asking for, if it gets enough love, if it gets enough votes, they might do it. Currently, the most requested feature on motorsport is the proximity radar. Um, again, it's interesting to see that they name drop this with it being the top requested feature. I don't see any reason why they're not looking into adding this along with all the other things that they've named dropped as well, like Brazil and the other and seat positioning and stuff like that. So that's good to see. And they also say that they're, they're continuing to work on improving Forza race regulations and Drivatar AI, two other big topics that are big issues with the game that no doubt we are going to see big updates for in the coming months over those two topics. At launch, Forza Motorsport players experienced an issue with the game freezing after applying car upgrades. This was the top voted topic in troubleshooting hub history. And before update 1.1, they fixed it. So if an issue is so game breaking, if it's so bad, gets enough touch on the troubleshooting hub, they'll fix it there and then. So that's why you don't want to be silent about your issues. If your issues in the game are affecting you that much, make sure it's known on the suggestions hub. Update five introduced the ability to save short race replays. Now work to improve replay save length is currently ongoing. So that's good to see. Another name drop there of an upcoming feature perhaps. They are working on that and everything else that they mentioned here as well. They mention again that they review issues posted by players in the troubleshooting hub regularly and deploy fixes based on these reports with each update. Forza Motorsport's a massive game, same with Horizon 5. It's impossible for them to make every fix happen in every update. I will stand by the argument and agree with you that the game should not have that many issues to begin with. I agree, but it is what it is. We, we actually had an update 6.1 hotfix this week to deploy, in, uh, to deploy a fix to address HDR flickering for PC and Xbox players. 
So it, it just shows you that the community hubs, suggestion and troubleshooting hubs are very, very important places. It is obviously where they go to get the best ideas, the best features and where they focus on prioritising issues with the game as well. Be sure to upvote any issues that you are also encountering in our games and cast your votes on cars, tracks and features that you would like to see. This is literally the developers telling us this, so why would we not do that? Go to the suggestions hub right now. I'll have the links in the de description below. It's great to see this. Hopefully this is a good sign for things to come. What this does tell me about not only motorsport, but especially Horizon 5, there's many more updates to come. They're obviously still actively looking at the suggestions hub for Horizon 5 and looking for new features, for new cars. They're still doing that. That tells me that there's a lot more life left in Forza Horizon 5 than we initially thought with Horizon 6 being predicted for next year. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. But whether or not that's true, Horizon 5's got a lot of life left. So let's make the most of these community hubs that they have kindly designed for us.